Hey there, welcome back to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Lloyd Garmadon from Ninjago. So I'm going to start with the eyes. Start with the one on the left, I'm going to draw a little circle. From here on the left top side, we're going to draw a little highlight circle, so a little smaller one. And we'll color the bottom edge in black. Let's move over to the right side and do the same thing. So we're going to leave a little space in the middle. Draw the same size circle. And we'll draw the highlight on the top left. And then we'll color in the bottom area in black. From here, let's draw on some eyebrows. So just above the left eye, on the outside, we're going to curve in. And on the inside, we're just going to curve it up. We're just going to thicken this up. So we're going to start on the end again. We're going to taper it so it gets a little bit thicker as we get towards the inside. On the right side, we're going to start with that little line in the center and then curve out. And we'll thicken that up on the inside and taper it so it gets a little bit thinner on the outside of the eye. So let's go up to the top of the head and draw in the, the little crest above the eyes. So on, from left to right, we we'll draw a big curve. Just coming down towards the eyes and then back up on the right side. From here we're going to draw on the sides of the mask. So right here on the left side we're going to draw a curve going around the eye area. From here we're going to draw the bottom edge of the mask just above the nose. So doing a little overlap on the left side we're going to curve down around the eye, come up in the middle and come down again around the bottom of the right eye and just let that overlap on the right side. From here, we're going to start drawing in the sides of the mask. So on the left side here, we're going to curve out. On the right side, we'll curve out. Now we're going to draw a couple little folds in the mask. So from here, we're going to curve back underneath the eye area. So just curving it in. We'll do another overlap. So right here, we'll start down here. We'll curve down to the bottom of the mask. Now it comes down to like a sort of a rounded point at the bottom in the middle. We'll curve up and then tuck that in on the right side. Let's draw a few wrinkles inside the mask. So in here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like this. Along the bottom, we'll draw one across like that. Let's draw in the crest. So in the center of the face, in between the eyes, we're going to draw a straight line going up. Just like this. From here, we're going to take these two points and round out towards the center, but we're going to leave a little space in before that line. So curving up and in. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. Now from these points, we just want to draw a straight line coming in towards that middle. From the ends and the tips of these points, we're just going to curve up to the top of the crest. So doing a little curve like that. In behind this crest, we're going to draw the top of the head. So on the side of the head here on the left, we want to imagine this curve going up and then up to the top of the head. So we're going to just draw a curve going up, coming down on the right side, lined up with that side of the head there. From here, we're going to draw in the shoulder pads. So these are the three tiered shoulder pads. So underneath this mask, we're going to start with a curve. Curve going up like this. From this point, we want to curve up to the top of the first tier. And then we're going to curve this back underneath the mask. We're going to go down here again and draw another curve, a little short curve. We'll curve up. We're not going to go all the way to the top. And we'll pull that back in with a curve. And one final one, we'll curve the bottom. Curve up and curve that back down. So you can see there's three tiers to the shoulder pad. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting with the bottom curve first, curving down, we'll curve up to the top in a slight angle, and we'll curve that back in underneath the mask, and we'll repeat this. So doing one curve, going up to about here, curving that underneath, and we'll do one more, little tiny one going up, and then back in. From here, let's get into the body. So the body is basically a block, but it's sort of angled in the sides of the body here. So right underneath the shoulder pad, on the left side, I'm going to curve out towards the bottom of the hip and on the right side. So starting here, I'm going to give this a little bit of a curve, actually. A little bit of a bend, so it's not perfectly straight. And we're going to connect those two points with a curve down the middle. So coming down on the bottom and back up on the right side. Before I get into any detail, I'm just going to block in the body. So on the corners here, I'm going to step in and draw the sides of the belt. Two straight lines on either side. Connect those two points with a curve. Going across. Now we're going to draw that little hinge point in the middle of the torso here. So on the other side of the center, we're going to draw two vertical lines coming down. We'll close the bottom off with a straight line. Now we're going to draw in the top of the leg, the hip area. So from this point, I just want to round it up. So it's almost like a barrel that comes around this way. So from this corner here, I'm going to curve and round out towards the left. I'm going to go up to the side of the belt here and do that same exact curve coming across like that. I'm going to connect those two points with a straight line. Now we're going to draw this leg sort of bent, we're going to draw this one sort of kicked out up on his heel. 
So from here, I want to draw the front edge of the face of the leg first. So from here, I'm going to curve. I'm going to take that point on the outside again and just draw that same curve. We'll connect those two points with a straight line. Now let's draw the top of the foot. From this corner, we'll draw an angle line coming out. From this corner, I'll draw that same angle, that same length. We'll connect those two points with a straight line. Now we're going to work our way down towards the front of the toe. So from this corner, I'll draw a straight line down. From this one, I'll draw a straight line down. We'll connect those with a straight line. Cross like that. Now the inside part of the foot, from here we're going to draw an angle line going the opposite direction, so coming up this way. Now all we need to do is connect that point in the heel up to that point in the, the center of the torso. So from here, let's curve and round out to the heel. Let's draw this leg. Now we're going to draw that same sort of hip barrel. So from up here, I'm going to draw a curve. We'll go up to this side and draw a curve. We'll connect those two points with a straight line. From here, we're going to start with the inside part of the leg because I'm going to draw the foot sort of up on its heel like this. So from here, I'm going to curve to the top of the foot. We'll go up in an angle. We'll come down in an angle. And now we're going to bring this line down in an angle just about to the same height as the bottom of the foot on the left side. So right about there. We're going to take that point and that point there and connect it with a curve. Going across like that. Now let's draw the front edge of the foot. So from here, draw an angle line out. This line here, we probably want to make it roughly the same length as the one on the left here. Because these are the same feet. So we're going to come across. Now from here, we're going to come down to that same angle as we have on the inside. We'll connect those two points with a straight line. From this point in the hip, so we curve this and tuck this in underneath the front of the foot there. Let's draw a little socket for the bottom of the foot. So we're just going to take this outline and just trace it on the inside part of the foot. And to give it some depth, I'm going to take this point in the corner and just follow this curve, this line. Just tuck that in underneath like that. Okay, from here let's draw in the arms. So I'm going to have the arms coming out holding two swords. So I'm going to draw one coming this way and towards the hand. So underneath this shoulder pad, right about here on the second tier, curve out. I'm going to round out the, the cuff. So from here, I'm going to round it out. And then I'm going to pull this back in, trying to keep the spacing consistent all the way through. From here, I'm going to have to draw in the hand because the hand overlaps the little area that's the face side of the hand here. So from this point, I'm going to leave a little space, draw an angled line like this. This is just the edge of the hand. From here, I'm going to just connect those two points with a curve like this. Okay, so this is the bottom part of the hand. I'm going to have to draw the other side of the fingers. So we want to keep the hand on this side the same width as this line here. So we're just going to curve in the opposite direction like that. Connect those two points with a straight line. Now we can draw in the sword. So on either end, we're going to step in, draw two angled lines coming down. I'm going to round out the bottom. We're going to do the same thing on the top here. So taking that line, continuing at the top of the hand on both sides. Now I'm going to draw that little cap at the top of the sword here. So drawing an angled line. So it's overlapping the handle. Draw that twice. We'll close it off on either end. Before I draw on the sword, I just want to finish off this wrist. So here I need to draw the wrist socket. So up here, I'm just going to draw like a half circle like this. And from these two points, I just want to draw the back side of the hand, the wrist. It's curving around like that. Let's draw on the sword. So the same angle as the handle, we're going to go up to the top. So right about here, I'm going to draw a curved line coming down. At the tip, I just want to square it off with a line. We're going to angle out. And now I'm going to pull that in right to that handle with a curve, like that. Okay, so we got that arm. Let's draw that exact same thing on the right side. So we start with the second tier, curving over towards the wrist. We'll draw that little end of the arm like that. And we're going to draw the bottom edge. So we want to make sure we try to get the arms the same thickness. So from here, curve underneath the body like that. Let's draw that same hand. So up here we're going to draw a vertical line first. It's almost like a D shape. And we're going to draw the reverse. So up here, draw a curve like that, and then just close it off at the back. And we're going to draw the bottom of the handle. So two lines coming down, connected at the bottom. Let's draw the top side. Now we're going to take this line, extend it above the fingers, we'll cross it like a T. We'll draw another line just above it, same length, and we'll close off the sides. Let's draw on the wrist. So up here, we're going to draw that half circle for the wrist. And from this point, we're just going to curve and tuck that in behind the hand, and same on the bottom. Let's draw the sword part. So we're going to draw the same length on both sides. So right here, 
I'm going to start with a point. From this point, I'm just going to curve it and pull towards me right to that handle. Square off the top. We'll angle off the blade like that and pull this in right into the top of the handle like that. Let's draw in some detail now. So I'm going to draw some flaps for the top. So on the side, on the right side of the mask here, I'm going to curve towards the left and then curve down. On this side, on the left side, I'm just going to curve and tuck that in underneath that line there. We're going to thicken this up. So we're going to draw this curve twice, starting from this side of the body, curve across and then down. On this side, I'm going to curve in behind like that. Inside the shirt here, he's got some sort of wraps. So I'm just going to draw a couple curves like this. We'll curve coming down towards the right, curve coming down towards the left, and we'll just sort of alternate it like that. Let's draw two circles on the top. So he's got these little symbols up here. I'm not going to fill them in. I'm just going to draw two circles for now. And then he's got some buckles on the side. So on the side of the body here, I'm going to draw two. So we're going to draw like a D on either side. Inside here, I'm going to draw two little circles. And then to draw the little clamp of the clasp, on this top here, I'm just going to draw a curve. On the bottom, I'll draw a curve. I'll connect those two points with a sideways curve like that. Let's do the same thing on the bottom. So curve on the top, curve on the bottom, and curving in towards the middle. Let's draw the exact same thing on this side, just flipped over. So we're going to start with sort of backwards D's. We'll draw a little circle for a little grommet. And then up here, we're going to draw one curve. The bottom will draw a curve and we'll connect it with a center curve. And the bottom will do the same thing. So two curves and then in the middle. We'll draw some belt detail. So in here we just want to draw the knot. So I'm going to start with a curve like this and curve out. And then from that same point I'll curve back down. We'll draw some wrinkles in here. So at the top I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. On the bottom we'll just go across like this. Along the belt we want to show some wrinkles. So I'm just going to pull a couple of lines like this, anywhere you want along the belt line. And then we're going to draw some wraps on the legs. So down here, this same line, I'm going to drop down here. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So this line, go across like that. From corner to corner, and draw a straight line. From this corner to that corner, draw a straight line. Do the same on the right side. And if you want to make it look like it's wrapped around the leg, we just have to take this point, angle down, this point, angle down. Probably just connect those corners as well. This point comes down and then connecting the corners like that. And then the final part, we're going to draw the belt ends coming down this way. So from this corner here of the leg, come down, move over and go a little bit wider as we get down towards the bottom. Just connect it at the bottom there. Up here we can just draw a little wrinkle like that. Do the same thing on the right side. Stepping over, going a little bit wider at the bottom, connecting and then just an angled line. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Lloyd Garmadon from Ninjago. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.